So I got the head back on the engine. Got to get this end deck ready to go. I don't think I'm going to split this apart. I'm just going to try and clean it up the way it is. Try and save a little bit of time, not have to deal with this gasket. It doesn't seem to show any signs that it was leaking. This might be a mistake. That's okay. I'm going to deal with it. Some things I don't need, like this heat riser. I can't see me needing it. For now, I'm going to leave this vacuum pull off on it. Um, don't know if it works or doesn't. See if I can get these nuts off of the thing. These nuts. See where I'm at. Everything on the bottom's pretty rusted up, but I have soaked it with some oil. Probably need to hit it with a touch more before I get too far along. In fact, let's go ahead and just give everything a little. Soak in just because it's, you never know, right? It seems to function Looking like it should. Don't get too carried away with it. Again, don't know what we got there, but we'll leave it. So, this was 1116th. This could be. First idea is, well, it looks like that might be a 5 8 anyway. No? Metric? Let's see here. Hmm. This is in that time frame that everything is going to go metric, right? It's one of the things that I have to say America really sucks at is uh, embracing any kind of change, no matter how good, poor, bad, or whatever else it may be. There it is. I guess it's 17. All right. I'm gonna shake it up here. I better be careful. I'm gonna give it a little. I think I got a 17 millimeter wrench. That'll work better than the socket anyway. Whew. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, it's hot today. Anyway, and that broke right off. That's expected. Of course it is. And I'm sure this one will too. Yep, it broke off too. That's all. Again, all expected. Without heat, these things probably won't come out. Whatever. I'd rather really use nuts and bolts on my other one. I'm gonna stick this thing there. Wow, look at that. So I need to get my wire brush out. So I need to get my wire brush out and see if I can clean that up a little bit. Probably get the big nut out, weld to these things again. So putting this into a little better perspective, because I've already done a short kind of overview bullshit with this thing a little. This thing is disgusting. It's so I'm going to clean this up as best. All right, so what that does for me, at least gets everything cleared out, and I'll give it a little, little, little eh, eh, squirt. So I need to get a nut, a little bit bigger than this. Also, for this, I generally like to get a washer, put a washer down, and then put the nut on top of it. The nut's going to have a little bit of space in between it. I didn't show, I didn't talk about this when I did my other video just a minute ago, but, or a day or two ago. But that's the most important thing. Whenever I start looking at this, I want to I want to wash her down, kind of tight against the threads to protect the verge, the, the parent material of whatever I'm extracting from, and then a nut big enough that I can throw a little bit of weld down inside of it and kind of really create a good hot weld. Uh, get this thing good and hot, and then possibly and a little squirt of coil or something. You're going to see it smoke off, and then try and break this thing loose again. Let me see what I can get out of my special drawer over here. A little scared. I do have some studs. I don't know if they'll fit it. We're hoping they do. It's too small. That's too small. Wow, okay. 
Maybe not. All right, like I said, I like to get a washer to put down. It's going to fit pretty tight on it. And see if I can find a nut, just like these two. That gives me a lot of weld and a lot of heat that I can put down on there to fill up. Plus, whenever I start taking it loose, it gives me a lot of leverage as I turn and go nice and slow. We're going to see how this works. center punch on these and drill the hole for what it would take to tap for those other ones and we'll see about the size because I'm not sure that's not rust around this edge so it might be closer to the size we need. One thing I do like while these transfer punches may not be exactly what I need for this pretty close to center start looking at them pairing them I will. That one there. And that one right there. And it doesn't look quite right, does it? No, it does. So I need to drill in a little bit and straighten that one up. That one's about as good as I can get. I'm going to get a small punch or a small drill. Give me a good pilot hole. And then hopefully I can find the size I need. It's always time for lubrication. This other 
outside where I can get a little, a little bit of cold. I'm not happy with my center point. I'm gonna drill slightly sideways. Yep, nice and centered on that one now. Look at that. How I like it. Got two holes all the way through. What I'm hoping for is I'll get these studs that I got new ones. I'll have the right size tap and all that good shit. You don't know the size you need for a tap. You can put a drill bit through it, through the nut. And it's gonna tell you pretty close. If it's a little loose, that's too big for sure. I'm gonna drill through with that because that is pretty damn close. Not a whole lot of side, there's a little bit. With a little wobble and then cut the threads, this might be the size I need. Worst case scenario. So, one of the best lubes, I'm, I'm a firm believer in aerocroil, it's expensive, but it's worth it. But one of the best lubes when you tap holes or you drill for holes is to, uh, in all honesty, lard. You take a little lard, dip your tap, or you dip your drill bit in it, and as it melts, it'll run off that, and it'll give you a great cutting tip. Problem is, it smells like bacon, so you get hungry and kind of lose your thought process, end up going to the house, drinking cold beer, all that good shit. All right, so the correct way to do this is I get a T-handle I put on it, or tap socket, one of those lovely tools that are proper, proper for the job. But I don't have one, so I'm gonna use an old crescent wrench and see if I can't get a dull tap started through a poorly drilled hole so I can put a stud in the thing. It may or may not be the right damn size. A little trick I like. I'm gonna run those threads in good. fail you can still succeed and what I will do is say oh look at that oh shit it's the wrong side so I start over right, no, I'm good we'll install these things in a manner like I like to do everything else 